how to use the undo, redo, and undo history in GIMP 2.6 on a Windows XP operating system. After you've begun working a little bit in GIMP, you may notice that your computer program is running a little bit slower. That could have something to do with your undo history. Now, I already have a lot of things up on the screen, so let me close them out real quick so that you can focus on the one we'll be dealing with. Now, if you will go to your main workspace area, go to Edit, and you will see the Undo Paintbrush. That's what I've been using as the paintbrush on my screen. You can undo one line at a time, and you can redo one line at a time. Now, in Windows, there is an Undo All feature. This Undo History is not that. When you click on Undo History, it opens up a pop-up menu. And as you see, it had no effect on my original. The Undo History is nothing but a history of every single move you've made in a snapshot form. So that you can remove this, you can select the very base, and it will erase everything you've done up to that point. So in that way, you can use it as an Undo All feature. You can left-click on any of these, and it will put back whatever you had up to that point. You can also use the undo and redo buttons at the bottom. And in the bottom right hand corner of this undo menu, you will notice that if you left click on that icon, it will say really clear images undo history. Clearing the undo history of this image will gain 17.1 megabytes of memory. Now, that 17.1 megabytes of memory are all of these snapshots that the program has taken for me. If you are satisfied with your drawing, but your computer seems to be running a little bit slower, you may have such an incredible amount of records in this undo history that this number of um, on your pop-up is extraordinarily high, meaning it's taking up a lot of the memory in your computer, and that's making less available for you to work with in your document. If you want to, you can clear that history and that will take your base image to what you had on your screen when you cleared the history. If you do this, you will not be able to use the undo and redo on either the undo history or the edit menu because they will be grayed out. But as you continue to work, as you see, it will continue to add those little files that eat up so much space in your computer. Periodically, you might want to pull up the undo history and left click on this bottom right hand icon and clear that history. As long as you understand that the only way to get rid of these things once you've cleared that history, cleared out all these records, is to use the eraser. And then you will have to do it by hand. When you compare that to having no ability to use your program because the memory is filled up with these undo histories, sometimes it's worth it. But if you need that undo history, don't delete when it says do you want to undo it because it will not just remove everything and take your document back to its original state. It will create a new original or base image and you will continue to add files from that point 